Cool YouTube and welcome to part four of Appium Automation Basics. In today's video, we're going to do some fun stuff. We're actually going to uh, do a little bit of coding and we're going to write a script that's going to tell me which access point I'm connected to. Okay, so it's going to be dynamic or the goal of the script is to be dynamic so I can be connected to any access point and I don't have to know which that uh, which access point that is but my script will be able to tell me which access point I'm connected to. And basically, uh, let's just kind of manually go through the steps that the script is going to do. So when we fire it up, it will go to this home screen. Then it's going to tap settings. Then it's going to go to Wi-Fi settings. And then here it's going to find this connected tag. And based on where, you know, where it is, it's going to tell me the SSID that's connected at that moment. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, let's open a project. And in the previous video, I was showing you some of the uh, UI selectors and properties. So we don't need that right now. Let's just remove it. Okay, we don't need that, and so we ended up with apps. So we're not actually going with apps. Uh, we can remove that first line and then go back here. We can reuse this, but this time, uh, let's see. This time, because we're clicking on the settings, we're going to put settings as text here. And then let's see what's happening. Once we go into the settings, we're interested in this little tab. So let me just copy this. And I know from previous experience that I can't actually type, like I can't type this. This will not work because of this weird dash that they have in here. This will fail. So I have to do a little hack. Um, like this. So this is a little hack just to bypass this dash in the middle. Okay, so, so far our script is going to be able to click settings, open Wi-Fi settings. But then here we need to create an next path, okay? So let's go ahead and start. Um, we're going to say driver, find element by X path, and we're going to start on our X path. So let's go ahead and open UI Automator Viewer and take a screenshot of our Wi-Fi settings. Taking a little bit, okay. So we're interested in this. So if we examine XMA layout here, we see that the title, the SSID title, is right above connected, which is the summary. All right, so we're looking for class text view and then all right let's let's just start writing this thing so we're, we're interested in class text view so we're going to come over here and we're going to paste this in and this text view must have text connected okay because that's what we're interested in we're interested in knowing which access point we're connected to and then we also know that the element with SSID is above connected. So what we're going to do is we come, we're going to come down here. We're going to say preceding. And we're going to paste because we also know that this is a text view. The, the class that we're looking for is a text view. So then we're going to say um, it's the first text view that we're looking for. Okay, but now we actually need to outprint, right? We actually need to outprint and say connected to but 
what we need to do is get the value of this, right? So let's store, let's create a string value, call it SSID, and now we need to get attribute, and this attribute is going to be called name, okay? So basically this here is the same thing as saying get text, kind of. Okay, so we're going to come down here back to our out sysout print method and I'm going to say SSID. So our script is supposed to tell us which access point we're connected to. So let's go to our common prompt and let's start Appium server. Okay, come back here. Let's exit out to the desktop and let's fire up our script and see if it works. Uh, looks like we got an exception. Okay, it wasn't able to find our preceding element. Okay, um, this could be because, um, as you can see here, when we click on Wi-Fi, when it opens it, it doesn't load the element, you know, right then. So we can do a little thread slip here as a dirty little fix. Okay. Let's just do this and let's restart our server and rerun, uh, rerun the app and see how it works this time. Technically this time it should work. Let's exit out to desktop. Wait for Appium to install unlock app. Okay, it's launching it. Moment of truth. All right, and we didn't get any errors, so let's go back here and see. So, okay, our script told us that we were connected to Astonash, and that's correct. So that's using that's how you create an XPath by using UI Automator. <clears throat> and one thing. Uh, that I would really, really recommend you is this resource, um, XPath Access. This thing is really helpful. Uh, basically, if we go to the preceding element that we used right here, I can maybe show it to you a little bit better, right? So the reason I used preceding is because we see that this, we have a cell here relative layout and we have two elements in here. We have the title and we have the summary. So the summary is this guy right here. Okay. And the title is this guy right here. So we are saying we're telling a script that we want that we're here and we want to use preceding elements. So we want to use this guy here. And the way to tell it tell the script that is by using this preceding keyword. Okay, so that's why the X path is looking like this. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day. Take care.